I found a book. Not just any book, but a book that could rule kingdoms and cities? Or at least bring your mother to tears? What's up elves and gnomes? I'm a real life bard, also known as ADT, and grab a pint of your favorite beverage, cause I'm gonna tell you a tale. One fateful day, I was traversing with my party through the shadow cursed lands, and we stumbled into the waning moon bar. After a rather harsh interaction with barkeep Thizzlebald Thorm, we noticed a peculiar book. It was called Songs for Sailors, Soldiers, and Sirens. I immediately thought, why haven't I heard any of these songs? Was there a reason they were hidden from the public? Or was it Barkeep Thorm's like private book of music or, or what's going on? Uh, there's only one thing for certain. I have to get to work. I have to make sure these songs see the light of day, or at least do something other than rotting away in the waning moon. So let's get to work. The first song, entitled The Drunken Dwarf, follows an elf and a dwarf as they drink thrice, each drink being followed by a subsequently uh, intense action. Our dwarf starts by beating a drum, and then her lips go numb, and finally she smashes her thumb. If you think that's a rough night at the pub, I have an elf that begs to differ. The elf starts by moaning, questionable start, leading his mind to roam, and it ends with his mouth foaming. I'm no health authority, but somebody should seriously investigate this dude's drink. Like, w w hello? The structure of this song really says sea shanty to me. So let's throw in those classic elements. We got gang vocals, we got <gasps> and we got hey I did I a as written in the text. Sounds shanty to me. So we got ourselves a new shanty, the drunken dwarf. Roll the clip matey. The dwarf drank once and she beat the drum The dwarf drank twice and her lips went numb The dwarf drank thrice and she smashed a thumb Hey, I did a lie <gasps> The elf drank once and he started moaning The elf drank twice and his mind went roaming The elf drank thrice and his mouth was foaming Hey, I did a lie <gasps> Now when I say the phrase And there he slept until he wept and drained his vessel dry. What image comes to your mind? I see a couple versions. One could be he was sleeping and then he drank the rest of his beverage out of his vessel, that being his cup. Or maybe he was asleep and then maybe wet himself and woke up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this up to interpretation. Our hero Salty Dick gets up to a lot more than just sleeping. He shares a smoke, he bolts to attention. Did I mention he has one black eye? Honestly, the interaction with old Salty Dick is quite brief, so we don't get too much to go off of here. The arrangement's just a little bit more complicated than in The Drunken Dwarf. We got three chords instead of two. Woo! Uh, I think it still feels shanty-like, so let's go in that direction. I met him in the elf song. He had but one black eye. And there he slept until he wept and drained his vessel dry. He bolted to attention I saluted him in kind One lucky stroke I shed a smoke And bade him no more mind Now these songs do get progressively more complicated But holy chords uh, This song isn't for your average bard We do have a lot And I mean a lot of chord changes this time The story is also a lot more detailed As it's about double the length of the last songs Just take a listen to these chords That is quite a sound. It took some time playing around with melody ideas and trying to figure out what fits where, but I think it turned out a pretty fun and dynamic song. In Love Requited, our lead is bedazzled by the pretty priest of Tear. They're also told to repeat a phrase that works like a spell. Does it work though? I'll let you decide. After some males, alas and alack, your eye falls upon one who won't glance back, your pretty priest of tears. Have heart, my friend, I know it too well, but tell them these few words, it works like a My vibe. 
Now, my friends, we finally have closure to this mysterious book I found in the waning moon. I'm still not sure why these songs were written, or why this book was left in this specific place. But there's one thing for sure, I did have a blast recreating these songs for y'all to hear. Let me know in the comments, maybe you have some insight onto why these songs were written, maybe who they were written for, or who they were written by, why they were in the waning moon in the first place. Is Thizzlebald Thorm the one behind it all? Let me know. If not, perhaps you can discuss your favorite song of the three, or who the Pretty Priest of Tear actually was. A big thanks to Larian Studios, not only for the amazing music in this book, but also the great game that we all know and love. There's also other musical books to be found in Baldur's Gate 3. So maybe my quest is just beginning. Anyway, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna go take a sleep. I hope I just don't awaken to drain my vessel dry. Whatever that means.